Hello, my name is uh, João Henriques, and uh, I'm here to present a joint work with uh, Rui Caseiro and Jorge Batista. It's called Globally Optimal Solution to Multi-Object Tracking with Merge Measurements. So, the goal of our work is to track multiple people with a single and calibrated camera. And uh, you can see here a small sample of the desired output, the, actually the output from the algorithm. And uh, the, uh, the thing is, uh, a successful approach to, to this uh, tracking problem has been to formulate it as an optimization problem. And uh, in this formulation, what we do is we, we start with the set of detections and uh, overall frames, such as the foreground segmentation that I was uh, showing here. And, uh, and then we, we find a set of tracks that uh, minimizes a well-defined uh, cost function. And this is in contrast with the greedy trackers that have been in the literature for quite a while. And because they work on a frame-by-frame -frame basis, uh, and uh, they can get trapped in a local minima of their objective function. An example of such a tracker is uh, Kalman filters or particle filters and all of those. However, uh, many concepts from greedy trackers are a bit hard to formulate as optimization problems over all frames. And one of those concepts is groups or merge measurements. And we present a rigorous theoretical treatment and uh, efficient, uh, globally optimal algorithms for this problem. So uh, we can break up the system into three stages, uh, which have appeared in one form or another in the literature uh, before. The first stage it matches the targets uh, and decides where they merge or split. The second one identifies the groups and finally, the third matches individual targets across the groups. I will, of course, describe them uh, better later on, uh, but they're necessary to understand this table. Um, each column here re uh, represents uh, one of the stages, and we compare our work in each stage with the previous ones. So the first row, you can see the work by Wang that is uh, um, state-of-the-art and representative of many global optimization trackers. Uh, however, they don't handle any groups. But uh, a great advantage still is that they can get an optimal solution to the problem that they define in polynomial time. In the third and uh, second and third uh, rows, you can see some uh, attempts to um, uh, kind of move in the direction of uh, handling groups in global optimization uh, tracking. However, these approaches all lose the guarantee of optimality. And uh, finally, in the last row, you can see a comparison of, uh, with uh, our uh, proposed framework. We propose three algorithms that are globally optimal for each of these three tasks. And they, they all work in polynomial time and have guarantees of optimality. So here's the outline of the talk. Uh, I'll start with a brief review of global optimization tracking. Uh, then describe the three algorithms that we propose and finally show some results. So starting with the global optimization tracking review. The basic idea of global optimization uh, tracking is to first obtain some short track segments or tracklets by using a very simple method such as Kalman filtering and some detectors. And these, however, these simple trackers are not supposed to carry the tracks all the way to the end uh, they are stopped whenever their confidence is low. The, the work of the optimization will then be to link these tracklets uh, to estimate the long correct tracks. So we begin the formulation by representing each tracklet as a node in a graph. Here you can see two more nodes. Uh, we create an arc connecting one node to another if it occurs later in time. Uh, we can calculate the cost for each of these arcs by using a variety of uh, metrics, uh, appearance uh, similarities, distance, and anything you want to use. Um, and we hope that uh, it will have a, a, a low cost, the arc will have a, a low cost when it uh, connects two nodes that are supposed to belong to the same target. And the task of the global optimization algorithm will be to select the best set of arcs so that uh, if two nodes are connected in the solution, they belong to the same track. There are also some, some uh, nodes uh, that represent the hypothesis of ending a track or starting a track. Uh, these costs are obtained from uh, some entry and exit location models, uh, which can be very simple. Um, 
And uh, these uh, nodes uh, allow us, these hypotheses allow us to optimize multiple tracks simultaneously as opposed to just uh, a single track at a, at a time. So here's an example graph uh, with the two people crossing each other. Um, you can see the tracks on the left, the tracklets on the left can be connected to the one in the middle or one, uh, any of them can bypass the, the node in the middle and connect directly to one of the other ones on the right. And this is what happens in the case of an occlusion. Uh, it, it is modeled as a long range arc. Uh, note that as you want to model longer and longer occlusions, uh, you have to, to create many more arcs uh, to, to account for them. And uh, this makes mistakes more likely. And merge measurement is a way to solve this problem. Here's the solution for, for this uh, toy problem. Um, so this solution is an optimal matching, which is the set of arcs that minimizes the total cost. And an important restriction is the no overlap restriction. This means that each node must have exactly one ingoing arc and one outgoing arc. Uh, as you can see in this picture, uh, if you'll notice that each of the nodes except initialization and termination has just one pointing to it and one arc pointing out of it. The global optimum can be obtained efficiently using the Hungarian algorithm. This has been done in the literature for quite a, a while. Uh, what we want to do now is to account for the fact that a single track may actually represent several targets. And uh, you can see that the, these uh, merge and split events uh, violate an overlap restriction because there are two, uh, two arcs pointing to the same uh, node and pointing out of it also. So we cannot use the Hungarian algorithm directly. Uh, we need to change the graph structure so that it uh, supports all of the previous sol uh, solutions, all of the previous arcs, and also some merge and split hypotheses. Uh, notice also that the algorithm does not know in advance if each uh, tracklet actually represents one or more targets, as we can do just by looking at the image of the node in the middle. 